at 24. Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Oh boy, it's hot out there. Checking things out uh, on our weather cam. Here is the U.S. netting weather cam, and you can see uh, that haze in the atmosphere that traditional haze that we see uh, in the summertime. And uh, a little better shot here from the Edinburgh cam looking up. Uh, you know, this is a classic look. It's not that bright blue sky. Uh, it's more of that milky blue that we often see uh, in the summertime because of the haze and the haze layer and all the humidity in the air. Dew points are now getting into the tropical, almost oppressive range here for this afternoon. Uh, but despite that, uh, the clouds aren't really building too much. And uh, we don't expect isolated late storms in the heating of the day. Lake breeze has kicked in, uh, but uh, so far it doesn't seem to be very active. The air just too stable despite all the heat and humidity. We'll continue with that for tomorrow before we finally get a break for the weekend, though it could lead to some storms Friday night and at least into Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon may not be so bad. Clearly can see the effect of the lake breeze. Dr. Tom Nag appear, nice wind off the bay, 82 out his way, uh, and uh, 86 out toward uh, northeast, 87 for Bob out there in East Springfield. So uh, we are seeing a bit uh, of that lake breeze uh, cooling them off. Otherwise, though, upper 80s, near 90, Venango Township. Uh, boy, when George and Venango Township is at 90, you know that when the perennial cold spot is at 90, it is hot out there. Sacred Town, Kathy's reached 90. Same for Rick and Crossingville, almost there in Cambridge Springs and West Mead. In fact, it might be 90 at West Mead by now. Even Bill and Plummer, a usual cool spot, 86, 91 in Saybrook. Dew point 72, so it is a hot one. Even in the inland sections, dew points close to 70. When you combine the heat and the humidity, you really get something there. So uh, we have a few clouds starting to pop up here, a little bit faster out toward Warren and Titiute, and where those are areas that might have the, actually have the best chance of seeing any kind of thunderstorm activity for the afternoon. Uh, and uh, future cast uh, showing though, e anywhere you might get a pop-up storm here and there, but nothing real organized. And after sunset, uh, it should diminish in intensity. And and uh, we're looking at another round coming in uh, for Friday, mainly late in the day. Uh, but as it moves by, uh, the actual front goes through Saturday morning. And we may salvage actually not too bad of an afternoon uh, with perhaps some sunshine and cooler conditions still, though, on the humid side. Today, hot and humid along the lakeshore. Temperatures mid-80s on the lakefront, near 90 on the uh, I-90 corridor. Farther inland, temperatures upper 80s to lower 90s. Maybe a late day thunderstorm, more heat and humidity in the Chautauqua Laguna area. I think you have the best chance of seeing some late day storms, your highs upper 80s, lower 90s. Most of the rain should be done by sunset and heat humidity again for tomorrow. Temperatures in the lower 90s, some late day thunderstorms and that trend uh, will finally break as we head on towards Saturday. Temperatures in the lower 80s with mainly morning showers and storms and a threat of a few showers and storms Sunday and Monday.